matrimonial property division. Who gets the stuff after people get separated and divorced? Now, this division is always best if you and your former spouse can decide it on your own, negotiate back and forth. It's gonna save you time, money, a lot of negative energy. It's just a better process. If you can't do that on your own, that's where lawyers get involved and help you make those decisions and fight for the decision in terms of splitting up matrimonial property assets. Now, the part that people forget about often is it also deals with matrimonial debt, debt that's been acquired during the relationship and the marriage. So you want to look at both assets and debts and decide how it's going to be split up. There are going to be exemptions, and this is a whole other video, is what are the things that don't fall under matrimonial property? What doesn't get divided up evenly? There's also going to be looking at, are our exemptions lost? It's a very complicated area of law in terms of letting people know how it all works and ties together, and it can get really emotional between people. So it's one of those things that lawyers often help decide. Sometimes you can get a mediator or arbitrator, but when we don't have those and need to decide who gets what and who's responsible for what, that's where lawyers come in to help you deal with your matrimonial property division. That's another Kahane Law Legal Minute. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, Share this video, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.